Hi, handsome boy. Hi, are we gonna reveal your name today? Are we? And groom you and make you so pretty? Yes. Everybody's dying to know. And honestly, we have been thinking about it for the past week. So we're excited to officially confirm it. You're a goof. Hey, horse lovers. Welcome back to Free Spirit Equestrian. So in today's video, we are going to be doing the name reveal for our brand new horse at Free Spirit Equestrian. And we are so excited to tell you what we finally decided. Yay. Are you excited? Are you excited to know your new name? Because I've had students around, so I've been trying not to say it, even though we've kind of decided on it a couple days ago. We are so looking forward to it. You are so sweet and lovey. Yes, you are. Look at you. Look at you. Kyle's coming in here in a second, and we're gonna give you some updates. We're gonna talk about what the next steps are, and of course, tell you his name. <laughs> Look at a polka dot muzzle. Look at it. Look at it. He's the friendliest thing. Seriously, he's so excited to greet you when you walk over. He comes right up to the fence. He wants the attention. Oh my goodness, you little lippy lip. Lippy boy. Kyle's gonna be here in a minute, and then we're gonna talk. <laughs> so he's been settling in very well, eating, drinking. He's now on some supplements. So right now I have him on the unbeatable pellets, and he's also on flax and cocoa soya. So I'm doing that just because I don't want to get him all fat and chunky, right? Like that's not the point here. But I do want him to gain some muscle because we will start working when he's done with quarantine, which is going to be probably in about a week. So he's been here for a week, one more week. Now I might move him into a larger paddock in a few days. I'm like 99% sure he doesn't have anything going on, any illnesses but I also don't want to take any risks or anything like that. So I'm trying to be responsible about it. And then we'll just probably do some groundwork and get him settled in. I'll just tack him up, you know, my normal thing. What I don't do is just hop on the horse and go because even though he came from a good home and I believe what the guy told me, he still is settling into a completely different environment. And this is his second home ever. So I want to give him time to take it all in. And then after that, he's going to be meeting the herd. That is gonna be fun. Lumiere, oh my gosh, he is gonna be ridiculous and dramatic. I just know it. But they'll be able to meet over the fence first and everything, so hopefully when he's turned loose with them, it won't be such a big deal. But I don't know, Lumiere was pretty dramatic last time, but he was also the one going through the transition. I think he'll be pretty sweet, so I'm not worried about him. No, I'm not. I think you're pretty nice. Oh. But he has been so quiet this entire time. You've caused no problems. You've been an absolute sweetheart. Is that Kyle? He says hi. Oh, I'm gonna poop. He's gonna try to drink your poppy. <laughs> All right, he's gonna get your grooming box and groom you a little bit. Oh, we need to somehow get the rest of the auction sticker off, too. Oh, he thinks it's grain. All right. <laughs> oh, gosh. He's grabbing the fly spray. See what I... <laughs> what are you doing? He's like, okay, you're going to have to put that on me. What else is in here? <laughs> right. Are you excited for the name reveal, Kyle? Yeah. We'll have to put some name, huh? It's a good one, I think. I think it fits him, we both do. I'm sure he's bored. But we gotta do what we gotta do, bud. <laughs> yeah, he is. So in the next video with him, we're gonna be doing grooming and his first groundwork session here and then kind of going from there. So yeah, you gotta brush them fast so we can fly spray them because they're awful. He's standing so nice though. Hmm. 
<laughs> Is Kyle your buddy? Yeah. So after we get him groomed, we'll announce his name and then we'll give you some other updates. Does he think he's tied or something? He's cracking me up. Get that fly spray. <laughs> oh, you just bonked your head. What are you doing? Huh? So you still excited about him? Yeah. Okay. He is tall. He looks really tall, like in weird, silly in this video. And for some reason, his ears look ginormous. I promise they are big, but they're not that big like they look in the video. I don't know what the video is doing, but they make it look, they make them look so much bigger. They are big, but okay. Can you fly spray him? So he's not, okay. You gotta get your fly spray now. You gotta get them really good because they're bad. Okay, horse lovers, we have been keeping you waiting long enough. So we are finally going to reveal our new horse's name. So again, just some facts about him. He is 50% Frisian, 50% Missouri Foxtrotter. He is not gated, he does not gate. If you don't know what gated is, I recommend looking it up, watching some YouTube videos so you get a really good understanding of it. But basically it means the horse is born with like a natural gait. Okay, so his color is Bay Tobiano and he's technically a tricolor since he's bay, black, and has white as well, the markings and the hair. And he's four years old and he is about, we haven't measured him quite yet. I think we should grab the stick in this yeah. video. So we'll do that in a little bit, but our guess is, what is your guess, Kyle? Mine is 15, two and a half. Mm, 15, three. <laughs> okay, down. okay. So we'll see how close we are but we will try to measure him at the end. Sometimes it can freak some horses out, but I think we'll be able to manage that with him. So those are the facts that we know so far. So his personality is super sweet and goofy and he is broke to ride so he can walk track canter, but he just needs some more like refinement and fine tuning because he's young and he has been on trail rides and hunting trips apparently. Did he say he packed out with him? Cause I didn't hear what he was talking about. He went elk hunting in Colorado with him. Okay, did he pack the elk out though? Is that what oh, happened? I don't know if he did or that. did he just ride him to search? He just rode him. Okay, that's super cool. So let's do the name reveal and then we'll talk about what our plans are and our goals are for him and then we'll measure him. So, a few of the other names that we considered for him versus the name we chose, one of them was Woody. Yep, <laughs> Woody. Uh, we both kind of liked that one, but then we decided it's just not quite elegant and majestic enough. What do you okay. think? Yeah, it probably just doesn't match a Frisian quite yeah. right. You know, maybe that'd be more like a quarter horse name or something. Bullseye was another one, but we're just like, he yeah. can't be Bullseye. It doesn't make sense. A lot of you said Flynn Rider. However, we already had a Flynn Rider. Yeah. So I've had a lot of horses before I started YouTube, okay? There is a video talking about all of them. It's somewhere on there. But anyways, so we already had a Flynn Rider. We already had an Olaf, a Jafar, and all of that. So. What well, is one of the other names that we really kind of thought about? Um, he's like, I'm just happy to be around people right now. A lot of you also suggested Aladdin, but you know, I don't think that would have been a bad fitting name, but I don't think it would have been the best one either. So, oh, there's a burr. He was trying to eat the burr on your shoe. So Kyle picked his name, but of course we both agree on it and really like it. So. We want to officially welcome our new horse. Say it, Kyle. Prince Naveen. And that is from Princess and the Frog. So congratulations, Prince Naveen, on your new home at Free Spirit Equestrian. We're so excited. So we decided on Prince Naveen from Princess and the Frog because the frog is silly. He has his own personality, yet he's a prince and very elegant as well. So we think it's very fitting. Let us know what you think in the comments. I think it suits you. Yes, it does. You are a sweet boy. What do you think, Kyle? I think it's a great name for him. We'll just call him Naveen for short. Yeah, but his full name is Prince Naveen. <laughs> when we 
we were driving home, Shay and I went through a couple names, and then we looked at the comments, and we kind of agreed on Prince Naveen. I think it just fits him. It's more, it's, like Shay said, it's an elegant name. So what are our plans with him? So of course, we're gonna get him out of quarantine, and then I'm going to put him in a larger paddock and slowly introduce the herd. So that's gonna take, you know, just some time. And yes, I will show a herd integration video, but it's gonna be when he's fully integrated with the herd, so you'll see that whole process. So of course, that's number one, and getting him to settle in more as well. So my plans will be to get him, you know, doing some groundwork, start lunging him, do some grooming and tacking him up. And then I will start riding him as long as the groundwork is going well. So he might do completely fine right away and I'll feel as though I can get on him, you know, relatively soon. Again, he is adjusting to a new home and a new environment. He hasn't been in multiple homes. So this is all new to him and all the horses are new and he's not with anyone he's familiar with. He's gonna get more familiar with us over time, but I don't rush things. I really do not like to rush that process because I think it keeps myself safe and also gives the horse time to truly process everything. We have to be fair to them too. So that's just gonna go how it's gonna go. And then once I feel as though I figure him out, of course, I will talk to you about that. And then Kyle will ride him when I feel as though he's ready. That could be literally in two weeks or that could be in months. It's just going to depend on how Naveen is and how he responds. And then, of course, we want to get him out on the trails. So those are our plans for right now. And we're just going to take it day by day. Of course, we already know he's broke to ride. But again, it's the adjustment period that's important. Oh, Robert, he's getting you. <laughs> I feel like he's slobbering. Why is he making those noises? <laughs> also, I've been finding a ton of frogs around the barn. So it's a sign. Like, I find a frog. Yeah. What? Flies getting him. <laughs> oh, see, we just fly sprayed you. You want to measure him now? Should we put his halter on and yeah, measure him? That's the best way to do that. Um, just grab his halter real quick, and then we'll we'll get the stick. Naveen! We're also going to get his registration papers, so he's going to be a Frisian heritage horse because he's 50% Frisian. Boop, boop. Now, I think with him... What's going to be the fun, more complex part to work with in regards to training? Both the Frisian and the Missouri, and the Missouri Fox Trotter are both uphill. Okay, so they're upright in their carriage. So getting him to kind of lower, and I don't mean like behind the vertical. I'm just talking from a biomechanic standpoint to get him a little lower and just more balanced is what's going to be the fun part. <laughs> oh my gosh! Did you? Oh no! You? I think you unclipped. He All you had to do, it. oh, he did that? He did it when it was on the post over there. <laughs> that is so funny. Okay, you've got it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> He's like, um, this is, you take this here. And yes, we will get him a new halter. This is his official auction, auction halter. quarantine halter. But I actually like this halter. It's nice. I mean, it's, it's like nice. I think we'll still keep it. Material. We'll just clean it up real good. It's already decent. Hey. Forward, buddy. I know. Well, play. he's also young. He's still in baby mode. He is. And yeah, he's bored over here. I mean, obviously, but that's going to be, it's very temporary and it's, it's important that we're doing this. He does want a job and buddy, you're going to have one. We're going to have lots of fun. <laughs> okay. Let's get the stick over here. And let's measure him. So let's move him over here, Kyle, like more over on the flat part away from the fence. Okay. Let's see how this goes. All right. Any last guesses? Kind of flat right here. Yeah, that's good. So we're on a relatively flat surface right here and we got the stick. So hopefully it doesn't freak him out too much. I'm going to put it up. So it's at 16 to start and you want to measure basically the highest point of the wither here. What is this? Is this okay? Hold on. Oh, good boy. Now tr it makes a loud noise. So that's when they can get nervous. So you want to go slow. Okay. Oh. Now we're gonna is it good? We're going to do this on concrete later, but for now. Is it good? Is it level? I can't see it. You need to come this way a little bit. Right there. What does that say? 15, two and a half. Oh. <laughs> I think you're down in a hole though. Right there. Okay. See this Here level? we are. Here this we are. Level close to it. Yep. Right there. There we are. Yep, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. There. So he is 15, two and a half. <laughs> Woo! I guess right. I'm pretty good at guessing height nowadays. 
so he's a great size boy. He might even get slightly taller. We'll have to see. Could you move that, Kyle? That's scary. <laughs> he said he was a little nervous about not it, bad, right? but not bad. Like once he realized, oh, okay, like it's not gonna do anything. Now he's like, I wanna eat it. <laughs> so he's 15, two and a half. We have an official measurement. This is really flat right here. So either way, he's 15, two, so. Yeah, but the, right there. yep, he's for sure 15, two. He's not 15, three, but his like exact measurement, 15, two and a half. And that's what I said. I said, he's slightly taller than Jiminy literally jiminy's 15 too so he's just trying to play buddy you won't be so bored okay just a few more days buddy and we're gonna start doing stuff on the ground okay very good so kyle what will you want to do with him once he's ready Trail for you ride. to ride yeah Isn't that all you ever do yeah <laughs> will you want to camp and stuff oh yeah i want to see how he feels in canner and trot and this is the thing. So I got on him at the auction for literally like one minute, but I barely, barely trotted him. I I, st I really don't know what he feels like. Like, I don't even know what his trot feels like because it was for like half a second. So I know how he feels height wise, but I don't know how his gates are. So I'm very interested to see how he's going to feel and, you know, what he's really going to need training wise to get him, you know, moving from a correct standpoint. At the auction, he seemed really chill. But once again, he his owner rode him. So, but he seems pretty dang friendly. I think he's just going to have to figure everything out. And we're going to have to get his pent up energy out because he's been in here. First, I'll just let him run loose before we, you know, really get into the groundwork or saddling him up and get him used to the hitching post and all of that stuff and the cross ties and everything. It's like, I just want to eat everything. <laughs> want to do something, huh? Yeah. You guys are going to be cute. Kyle, everyone says this is your heart horse. What do you think of that? We'll see. I just hope I don't rip any pants trying to get on him. Oh my gosh, <laughs> what? We're going to have to design some men's breeches, so that's not a problem. That's true, yeah. Oh, so with his facial mark, Kyle, people were saying, well, I said he looks like a wizard, but then someone said it's North and South America, kind of. Hey, there you go. <laughs> it is. I know. There's Mexico and Central <laughs> There's America. Mexico. That's cool. So that was super funny. Whoever said that, a few people did, but. That means he's a horse of the Americas. <laughs> what? There you go, buddy. Well, I mean, the Missouri Fox Trotter, essentially. But that is hilarious. I want to know what. Kyle wants to know what you guys think this marking is. Yeah. I don't know. An animal, there's a head and a neck and. An I mean, arm. this sounds barbaric, but it just reminds me of a cowhide, like a like a rug. <laughs> I don't. You know what I'm talking about? Like those yeah. throws they make, like a blanket. Um. That could be Florida. Florida. <laughs> we just we're just gonna like paint the maps of the world on you. He looks super cute right here. Oh, buddy! I know. I promise you're gonna. You're going to be so happy once you figure out you have a bunch of friends and freedom and something to do and love. But you had love. You were definitely valued in your old old home. <laughs> He's looking for treats. No. Oh, man. So, yes, we can officially welcome Prince Naveen. Oh, I just love it. Love our Disney theme. I like how he's so unique and just brings something different to Free Spirit Equestrian and the fact that Kyle really loved him so much and it's going to be fun to just start this journey. Another horse's journey here and yeah, we're just going to see how it goes. Okay, let's put some polisher on and try to get the remnants of the auction sticker. Um, I can hold them if you want. Yeah. Okay. You do it. So we're going to use the mainly long polisher to try to loosen this up a little bit and get these remnants off there's not much left kind of get that off bud he was pretty cool about letting me pick at it i think this has a cap on it <laughs> he's so shiny is it coming off easy let it soak a little bit yeah we might just have to let it soak and then pick it off tomorrow Some people said they use WD-40 or something. It's coming off, some of it. Oh, good. Oh, nice. Yeah, there's just that. A lot of it came off in the rain, like the paper part. It's just the glue that's left. Yeah. Yeah, you're getting a lot of it. That's good. 
Also, the farrier is coming in a couple days. So I am gonna pull all four of his shoes. So he shot on all four, that's what that means. And yeah, we'll see how he is barefoot. Obviously we'll take him off. I'll ask the farrier what he thinks and then go from there. But the plan is to have him go barefoot. You are a gentleman, that's for sure. Very nice boy. <laughs> also horse lovers, as you can see, I am wearing our brand new barn bum hat. So new horse, gotta have a new hat, right? Plus this is just super cute. And it's more of like, what color is this guy? Like a reddish pink burgundy? Yeah. yeah. So if you want to support Free Spirit Equestrian, you can order something off the Spirited Horse Boutique. These hats are now up. I'm also wearing my burgundy daisy lace shirt and our Winnie Wine lipstick. So it's a really pretty like purple plum. So the boutique just supports us and it's just something fun we can do and give you great products in return. And we absolutely love it. I mean, we've been so busy with that. We've been packing orders like crazy. So thank you so much for all of your support. It's amazing. And yeah, we just really appreciate it. You appreciate it? <laughs> He is hilarious. All right, horse lovers, I really hoped you enjoyed spending time with Prince Naveen and Kyle. So if you like Free Spirit Equestrian, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications so you don't miss anything Free Spirit Equestrian, any updates with Naveen, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Curry, home, bye. You're like, bye. <laughs>